Hey guys, welcome to Black Grand United. Welcome to another video. And today is time to talk about Junior Firpo and his imminent signing from Betis. As we've probably agreed a deal with Betis of 18 million euros plus 7 million on add ons on player performance bonuses. Uh, it is rumored by Mundo Deportivo, Raku, uh, Sport that. We are going to be completing the signing within the next few days. That Resto Alberto is desperate to get the 22 man team ready for the preseason tour against uh, Napoli in the USA. That will be coming up next week. Uh, tomorrow is the Jones Upper Trophy. I'll be probably making a video later on in the day about it and reacting to the to the to the game itself. Uh, talk about Junior Firpo. Uh, he's a quality player. Had a great season at Betis. Probably. One of the best left backs in the league, if not the second best left back in the league, behind Jordi Alba last season. He is a winner with the with Spain of the under 21s. Had a really good tournament, the same as Juan Miranda. Uh, great season, Fan uh, overall fantastic season from Junior Firpo. And I can like now I'm supposing that I'm gonna get criticism for Firpo because I've said that we don't need to sign him, that it that we shouldn't sign him or anything. And what I wanted to say to that is that I never said that he's a bad player, that I think he's a fantastic player, I think that he's a player that for the left back spot of Barcelona suits up pretty well. I just think that with Jordi Alba giving those amount of performances that are absolutely fantastic, having a great season last season, pretty much overall, like you can judge a 60 game season of Jordi Alba by two or three individual games where he just happened to have a bad day those days, especially against Liverpool. Because I'm saying again, against Valencia, Jordi Alba just had bad luck that Carlos Soler all of a sudden found the inner speed of Kylian Mbappe because it was absolutely unbelievable that. But uh, going back to Junior Firpo, I think that he's a player that is that's a lot of quality that could definitely make uh, Jordi Alba compete for that spot in the in the future. Not right now. I think that. Unless something weird happens to Nesto Alberti, we'll keep Jordi Alba in that first team left back spot for at least another season. I think that after that, we'll see. Like, I think Firpo is a player that has all the qualities to become a Barcelona fullback because he's more suited of a winger. And that's really, like, if you see the best ever Barcelona fullbacks, uh, they're pretty much reconverted wingers into fullbacks. The likes of Jordi Alba. A winger at Valencia, uh, Dani Alves, a very attack, a, a very free-minded fullback at Sevilla, a uh, uh, right midfielder at Juventus. The same thing with Paris Saint-Germain, like uh, basically players that are able to give you a lot in attack. Because when Barcelona plays well, we have a lot of possession of the ball. We don't need them to be that solid defensively, and we need them to especially be able to help us in the high press. To maintain a high press, to be able to get the ball back really quick so we can continue our attacks and get the play organized because when we press really high up the pitch, uh, we're putting the other team basically in their own in their own box and even if we lose the ball, we have the advantage of having really quick players like Firpo and Semedo and, play, and Alba to help us recover because they're going to be so pushed far back that to counter it's going to take them, they're going to have to run a lot of yards to get back to try to counter us if we are doing things properly. I think that with Junior Firpo we are bringing the age of the squad down. It is going to be really interesting to see Junior Firpo next season. I think that if he can stay focused on at Barcelona he could really improve. I just I just hope that he doesn't become a Lucas Dean situation 2.0 where Lucas Dean was alright but definitely it wasn't warranted losing Grimaldo for Lucas Dean, although we've seen this season that Lucas Dean it was leaving Barcelona and joining Everton and he's had a fantastic season, probably being the second best fullback, the, the second best left back in the league behind Andy Robertson. He had a great season and I just hope that Junior Firpo can, you know, a, get, that he's able to take some minutes from Alva next season, and especially this season. I think that we really need to rest Alba for the important games. I think that we could have done that with Miranda or Cucurella, 
But now that Filippo has joined Barcelona, he has my full support. He will he will be a the future of Barcelona if he's lucky and if he's able to be focused on his career and do things properly. He's a player that has it all pretty much. He's fast, he's strong, he has good dribbling, good passing, he's good in the link of play. Uh, one of the best players on the Kiki team last season for Betis and Betis pretty much suit that style of play that Barcelona are trying to achieve. With this, the defense gets sorted out. Uh, yesterday was confirmed that Musa Wage was going to be the number 16 at Barcelona's first team. Now with Wage, Semedo in the in the right back positions, with Firpo and Alba in the left back positions, and with Piquet, Lenglet, Umtiti and Todibo in the center back positions, we've completed our eight man defense. I believe that we have far too many names, but you know, uh, that'll be a topic for another video. Going back to Junior Firpo, he's uh, from our Domin the Dominican Republic, he's with Mariano. Uh, he's gonna play, he's playing for Spain, definitely could fight for that Spain, for the Spanish ball, and that's where one of his bonuses is reported to come, to, to come from. If he plays with the Spanish national team, then apparently some of the bonuses are going to be achieved and I'm guessing the other ones would be appearance bonuses. I'm guessing if he reaches like something like 20, 30 appearances and play for the Spanish national team, we will be paying that 25 million euros up front. I have to say that 25 million euros for Firpo, it seems oddly cheap. I'm surprised that for example Manchester City are not in for him. Like they really need a left back because you cannot trust Benjamin Mendy and Alexander Sinchenko, although he's been pretty good. The same as Sergio Roberto, he's a good fullback and sure if you want to trust him then fine. But he's not a proper fullback at least and I haven't seen that much of a quality from Sinchenko as a left back as I've seen except from Sergio Roberto as a right back to give me the confidence that for 25 million euros you really don't want to trust in Fearpool. I think that is really weird. That is very odd. Uh, Real Madrid were also in it for him. They decided to go for Ferran Mendy and they had to pay, what was it, 35, 45 million euros for Mendy? For a player that was playing in the French League instead of a player like Firpo who is, who is playing in the Primera División in Spain with Betis who played the Europa League football. Uh, very, very interesting player definitely. I think that Firpo is a player that might plan for the future for him would be to displace Jordi Alba like soon rather than later I hope that like I wasn't planning to have Jordi Alba like retire Barca but definitely stay like three to four more seasons at Barcelona if he's able to but with Junior Firpo's arrival I believe that it's time to you know have next season have him adjust to our play style completely uh, give him the minutes give him the training the first thing that he needs and then the season after that try to if you can if he's able and completely ready to step up to the first team, maybe you can transfer Jordi Alba to Manchester City. And because I'm sure that they'll be happy to take a 31, 32 year old Jordi Alba and have him play under Pep Guardiola until they can find a reliable left back for the future. And I think that'll be fine for all parties. We get to use Junior Firpo now and give him all the minutes that he needs. And we also, at Manchester City, would get a fantastic world class left back in Jordi Alba. Now, I'm not saying that Jordi Alba is going to diminish in performances, that he's over. No, I'm saying that if we're going to sign a young player, I want to make sure that this young player that we're paying 25 million euros for, that he's going to get the chances that he needs and that he's not going to have his progress stopped by another player that it's eventually on his way on his way out, theoretically. He's, um, like I said again, Jordi Alba's career is not over. But with Junior's fear pool, we need to take into, into consideration that he's the future and he needs to, rather, sooner rather than later, play a lot of minutes. Barcelona are have done pretty decent business. It's, the signings of Neto, Griezmann and Firpo are not particularly the ones that would have done. But they're all great signings, they're all good players. They will be they will give in a lot to Barcelona, especially Griezmann, Firpo and the young. Uh, I think the young will help us in a lot in the midfield. Firpo will give that cover for Jordi Alba, that and we'll see if it if it performs well. Then fine, I will be like I, I would have been wrong about not signing him. Although I'm sure that Miranda and Kukurera will give you 
great performances too, but that's not here or there. That would be a comment for another video, <laughs> like I can say again. And we also end on leave me all your opinions in the comment section below. What do you think about Junior Firpo? Do you think that he's the right signing for Barcelona left back? Do you think that someone else should have got should should have been in for him? Or do you think that we should have trusted in someone like Cucurella or Miranda? With all said and done, leave me all your opinions in the comment section below. Comment, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next one, Black Grenas. <laughs>